and a very good day to you and welcome to the program. Maybe today you're saying, but I'm having a rough time in my life at the moment. I'm going through a winter time. I do understand. I have been there many times. I want to leave a beautiful scripture with you. Psalm 56 and verse 8. You number my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? Every tear that you and I shed, the Lord knows about it. That's right. It's in his book. And then we go to the book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. It won't last forever. I want you to know that today. Jesus knows what you are going through. Not one of your tears have been wasted. The Bible tells us he puts them in a bottle. He keeps them safe because he understands exactly how you feel. You know, the Lord is a God of great compassion. He really is. You know, the example I'm thinking of is when Jesus went to Bethany. Remember, Mary and Martha called him and said, your friend. By the way, Lazarus was a very dear friend of the Lord Jesus Christ. They were friends apart from anything else. Your friend is very sick. And the Lord came four days later. He wasn't late. He wasn't early. He was spot on time, as we always say. And when he walked into the streets of that little village of Bethany, I've been there. By the way, I've been to the tomb of Lazarus. I have actually laid in that tomb. That's right. And when Jesus saw how the people were mourning, the Bible says that Jesus wept. Why was he weeping? He knew that within 30 minutes, Lazarus was going to get up and walk out of that tomb with the grave clothes around him. He did it because he felt their pain. Jesus knows how you feel. Jesus wept more than he laughed in the Bible. A man of sorrows. He is familiar with your pain and with my pain. And we need to understand that. Look at it in John chapter 11 and verse 35. That's right. He wept because he felt the pain that the disciples and the friends of Lazarus were going through. But how much more does Jesus really care? Well, if you look at his hands, he's got holes in his hands. That's where the nails went. He's got holes in his feet. That's where the nails went. And he's got a hole in his side where the spear went. That's how much he cares for you and I. How can we say, Lord, don't you care? We are perishing. Remember, that's what Peter said. In the boat, when the waves were about to sink the boat, and he got up and he rebuked the storm, and it became peaceful. Jesus loves you. He cares. He understands. People are desperate for love at the moment, folks. I want to say to you, and I really mean this, when somebody is mourning, they don't want you to quote scripture. They don't want you to tell them to stand up and pray. They want you to put your arm around them and weep tears with them. Jesus bless you and goodbye. 